What's going on, guys? I hope you are doing well this evening. I just wanted to address the markets just a little bit and kind of wanted to extend on the uh, thoughts that I kind of have in regards to current price action, specifically with Ethereum, just because, you know, the NFT market's booming. Ethereum's the base layer of that. Um, Solana a little bit, but because of the Alameda issues, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to see Solana's chart right now. But anywho, Ethereum. All right, so what has happened? Approximately, um, I want to say, yeah, about like to current time, about like two, yeah, about like two days ago, uh, I was kind of noticing this downward sloping trend and uh, top side ever so slightly above. Um, you kind of saw like a dissension from this candle right here to this candle. So I was like, oh, okay, we have a downward sloping, uh, you know, resistance line up here. And uh, we also had a heart line, this yellow dotted line right here. That was kind of a, a more narrow trend, but also if you zoomed out, it, it made a little bit more sense of it being somewhat of a heart line and also a determining factor regarding a breakout. So once this heart line was broken and back tested, uh, in terms of the horizontal support line, which was at um, basically 1,175 zone, uh, we pumped very, very, very hard. And since then, we've um, broken out of this uh, descending broadening wedge pattern. And as you can see, my um, my indicators are still, uh, my, my moving averages are still in the red up until this point, up until a few hours ago. So what I want to see is a true back test. We didn't necessarily get that, I would I would argue. Uh, we did kind of get a bounce at the 0.618 retrace level, which is rather interesting. The um, line right here, which, yes, uh, this downward sloping line has yet to officially get back tested as support, which is the main reason why I have my uh, Fibonacci levels at 0.382 and 0.236 as a potential bounce zone once again. Uh, we could theoretically come all the way down here, bounce, create a, a higher low situation, and then continue to the upside. Now, I do see 1,517, the, the 1,618 level, as a true resistance. Um, Best case scenario is we pump all the way to that upside level. Uh, let's say we, we dump and, you know, come back up. That's still a pretty much almost a 30% pump. If we continue to where we are now with the 618 area, um, yeah, that would still be a pretty decent pump at 18%. So, I mean, there's still volatility within this market. Uh, let me go here and let me show you. So this is the ADX, which is a volatility indicator. So as you can see, volatility is at an 80, which means um, that there is a lot, a lot of uh, sw strong swings down and up. Okay, so it's it's more so a good time to be uh, trading uh, from that perspective. But yeah, that's the one minute time frame. Let me go to a more reasonable time frame. Uh, okay, the four hour. Yeah, I don't know why. I just realized I was on the one minute. So sorry. But yeah, actually, my apologies. It actually shows that uh, volatility is coming to the downside. So it was pretty rabid, as you can see. Um, the direction was pretty much uh, determined. And we saw a ramping up of volatility, so that's how you got these like ridiculous god bear god candles. And uh, yeah, we're kind of coming down, so we're now consolidating. So even if we were to come down um, around this area, I do, I truly do expect a lower high uh, to print uh, at this point. And at that point, I would eventually expect 1,517 to continue moving forward. Now, at that point, um, we would officially um initiate a downtrend so um that puts frankly around due to let me go to the daily and you can actually see why i think we're going back down to 1800 if that's the case yeah around the 1880 to the 900 zone just because we have a wick bottom right here if we can actually come back down and back test this zone and uh create an even larger uh bottom event then i would feel that much more better uh yeah i i do expect some consolidation somewhat like this but at this point um it's really hard to determine true uh trend 
we did get a rejection off the, the 150 moving average. I have changed my uh, exponential moving average numbers because I have been swing trading a little bit more as of late. So I've been kind of going off a little bit more um, from a swing trader's perspective just because it's just been that much more apparent. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, uh, even on the lower time frames, we are kind of getting some red. So we, I, this could be a cool down period. We did get that cross right here. Uh, that is pretty pivotal. I want to see if this line can eventually uh, hold. Um, yeah, uh, I did change up my my um, MACD a little bit. I took off the the lines and I'm more so just concentrating on the histograms. I've just kind of figured out a pretty interesting technique on how to maintain the histograms and just kind of look for divergences. It's it's really simplified and um, you really find trends like that. And then at that point, you know, you know accumulating divergences um, and then it was this final divergence right here that led to a pump, right? So there's little tricks of the trade that I've been kind of like building on top of as time's gone on. And this is a rather new trading chart uh, for me. It's rather simple. I do have a couple other indicators as well. I still have market cipher here. I still have the TSI here, of course. So um, yeah. Um, but yeah, for, for the most part, I am looking at lower term time frames at this time for swing trading opportunities from my personal perspective. Uh, but I mean, I like to talk the four hour and the one hour here with you all just because it's just that much more, um, you know, insightful. Now on the four hour, we did get a bullish engulfing candle right here and we did kind of half test this so far. Um, so that makes me feel a little bit more confident of price actually t testing, you know, uh, the, these lines of, uh, before there's a continuation to the downside, I do expect choppiness, but some tests to the top side. So this is a really harsh ranging market. Um, overall, we do have lows here. We have a low and then we have a lower low and uh, with a no apparent divergence to be found. Um, we are kind of overheated as you can see, um, I'm waiting for that divergence right here on the four hour to truly um, initiate a potential short, a pretty big one. Uh, but at this time, um, I am kind of more cautiously bullish, uh, not going to lie, in terms of like waiting for the price to come down, maybe bounce around here, then tap, eventually tap. Let me, let me write this out for you because I've said it a few times, but I don't know if you all are kind of catching it. But essentially, I want this red line to be back tested, right? So boom, if it's successful, I would then expect at the most to back test the 1618 level. And from there, uh, we then come back down and create a lower low. That's my kind of assessment on the market at this time. Now, will it happen? No, but in terms of like overall percentages and what's likely to happen, I would most likely see that as a scenario. Now, um, if somehow, some way, um, we were to break above, say, um, the top side here, the highest candle close high on the hourly, which is at 1,650, then I would actually expect the 2618 to get tagged and then to eventually come back all the way down to then create a lower uh, uh, print essentially. But from that point, that would be a hell of a short, um, <laughs> most likely around this zone. But at the end of the day, um, this is a pretty new territory here, but um, we are retesting some lows overall. This bullish pattern did end up playing out. So how do these get measured here? Realistically, you go to the top and I'll, I'll actually just get the measurements here for you. This is how you measure it. You get to the candle close top, to the candle close bottom of this move. Then you uh, move it to the point of breakout here. Um, which is right around here. So it looks like we're going to come a little short of the 1618 zone. We are going to come to the upside here, but it looks like, from my perspective, we have, because we have candle closes right here, we have candle closes right here. Um, so this entire zone, I'm just going to like put it red and I'm going to delete it immediately after. <laughs> But just to give you some perspective, this is turbulence area right here between 1,517 and 1,440 where I would expect to pivot. 
Um, so at that point, it, with this measured move here, I, at some point in that zone, I do expect a uh, reaction, an, an aggressive one to the downside. Uh, and at that point, will this will this zone break? And uh, I, I'm more leaning towards yes. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. Well, at the end of the day, um, we are in a choppy range. There's things to be taken advantage of at this time, but I just want to say thank you so much um, for everything. If, uh, yeah, you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. I sincerely appreciate that, and uh, I'll uh, leave it at that. Take care. Bye-bye.